Correcting text and design errors. Publisher gives you a number of tools to catch and correct the errors in your publication. These can be design errors or spelling errors. In this lesson, we're going to show you exactly how you can use these tools to keep your publications clean and consistent, and to avoid unseen issues that might derail your attempts to have them reproduced correctly by a commercial printer. Most of our modern devices check our spelling for us, from iPods to iPads to personal computers to smartphones. Publisher is no different. It's not as full-featured or as sophisticated as that of a dedicated word processor such as Microsoft Word, but it's more than capable. After all, the focus of Publisher is designing publications. You're probably not going to write that novel on it. Just like in Word, you can find the spell checking function on the Review tab. Let's take a look. To check the spelling in a story, select the story and then click the spelling button. This will activate a dialog box. Remember, when we refer to story in Publisher, we mean all the text in a single text box or all the text threaded between several text boxes. Let's enter in an incorrect word to see what happens. This dialog box appears. The process begins wherever the cursor was located. If the cursor is in the middle of a paragraph in the middle of the story, it will work its way to the end of the story, then jump back to the beginning and eventually work its way back to where the cursor was originally located. As the spell checker works its way through the publication, it will pause on misspelled words. In this example, the dictionary didn't recognise this word here, and stopped on it. If this is the correct spelling of the word, and you want it to remain spelled as such, you can click on the ignore button, so that the spell checker will ignore this instance of the word, therefore not altering the spelling. You can use the ignore all button to ignore every instance of the word in the story. As you can see, Publisher tries to guess what you are getting at and automatically inserts what it thinks you are trying to say in the change to box. If this is the wrong word, you can select a word from the list of suggestions by clicking on one of the suggestions. In addition, you can manually type the actual word in the change to box. To make the change, click on the change button. Use the change all button to change every instance of the word in your publication to the new word. Click the check all stories box to have spell checker go through every story in your publication. To change options in spell checker, click on the options in the check spelling dialog box. You can also go to the file tab and then click on options in the left. In this options dialog box, select proofing from the column on the left. Here you can choose to ignore words in uppercase or words that contain numbers, internet addresses and so on. Choose the check spelling as you type option will underline misspelled words in red as you type. You can also add words to your custom dictionary so that words you type often won't be marked as misspelled. To do this, click the custom dictionaries button. You'll then see the Custom Dictionaries dialog box. Choose a language in the Dictionary Language drop-down menu. Here, you can create a new custom dictionary or remove one. To see or edit the words in any dictionary, including custom-made ones, select the dictionary, then click the Edit Word List button. A new window will open that looks like this. You can search through words using the Words field, or scroll through them by clicking the Dictionary field and using your mouse wheel. Add a new word that doesn't appear in the dictionary by typing it into the words field and then clicking on the add button. Click OK when you're finished. Autocorrect works in tandem with the spell checker, except that instead of just alerting you to typos and other common errors, it automatically fixes them. For instance, you might forget to capitalise the first letter of a sentence. Instead of having to go back and fix it, and interrupting your flow of thoughts, Publisher capitalises it automatically. Let's take a closer look at some of our options. To view them, go to the File tab, and click on Options. Click Proofing from the column on the left, then click on Autocorrect Options. You'll then see this dialog box. As you can see here, Publisher will correct the two initial capitals. This is actually a common error, especially for very fast touch typists. They hold that shift key for a fraction of a second longer than they should. 
publisher can also capitalize the first letter of sentences. As we said earlier, the first letter of table cells, names of days, and so on. Now look at the window near the bottom. Here is a list of keystrokes that publisher will replace and what it will replace them with. For example, open bracket C close bracket will be replaced with a copyrighted symbol. This is also where you can create custom replacements. Sometimes Publisher will automatically correct something you don't want it to. To correct this, click on the Exceptions button. Here you can see stock exceptions and add your own. Click OK when you're finished. You might be tempted to dismiss the design checker as something that is a waste of time because your publication looks exactly as you want it. In a word, don't. Publisher's design checker does not look at your publication from an aesthetic standpoint. It won't say something like, you have an image over here and it should be over there to create a sense of balance, or your headlines are in blue, they should be in black. Instead, Design Checker points out potential errors that could mean your publication won't print correctly. To find the Design Checker button, go to the File tab and click Info on the left. Then have a look at this Run Design Checker button here. When you click this button, Publisher returns you to your publication where a pane opens on the right. If there were any potential issues in our publication, Publisher would show it here. These are not necessarily bad things, or things that should be changed. You may, in fact, have had your reasons to do things the way you did. You do not have to act on any of the potential errors. Publisher is just pointing them out to you. Click on any item listed in the Design Checker pane to jump to the errors location in your publication. At the top of the Design Checker pane are boxes you can check to change the parameters. You can have Publisher make general design checks, commercial printing checks, website checks or email checks. To change the design checker options, click design check options at the bottom of the pane. A new window will open. From within this window, you can sort the design issues by description, page number or status, either fixed or unfixed. If you'd like to see only the uncorrected issued, check the removed fixed items box. You can also choose to include or exclude master pages. Clicking the Checks tab takes you to a new set of options. Here you choose which potential errors publisher should look for. All items are checked by default, but you can exclude items by clicking on an item to uncheck it. Click OK when you're finished.